Osteoporosis literally means porous bones, and it often develops quietly over many years. You can't feel your bones weakening until eventually you experience a fracture. If you want to find out without breaking a bone, it usually requires a DEXA scan to measure the bone mineral density. Now, whatever stage of life you're at, you can always be working to optimize your bone health. Hi, I'm Sage. It's great to be here with you. I'm here to be your source of cutting edge wellness information to help you find answers to become happier and healthier. Please support us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. It only takes a second and does so much to support our tiny family business. As you may know, I'm deeply passionate about helping you, not just with educational information, but also by offering some amazing products that I developed for our company. You can find a link down in the description to the world's healthiest gourmet chocolate, delicious elixir blends, and the purest, most potent adaptogenic herbs. Now, most people will just think about drinking milk and taking calcium supplements to help with their bone density, but there's so many healthier and more impactful things that you can be doing. For example, the first thing to think about is taking D3 and K2. Now, you may just be able to get enough vitamin D from the sun, but it's very few people that I've come across who are actually able to get enough in that way. We just spend so much time indoors these days when we're outside, you have sunscreen on, you don't live in the part of the world where you can make a good amount of vitamin D, it's challenging. But with a supplement, you can get there quite easily. And it's very important to have your vitamin D levels tested so you know where you're at. Now with vitamin D3, it's gonna improve your absorption of calcium. But then that calcium, where is it gonna go? You don't want it to go to somewhere like your heart. So you need K2 to direct it with where to go and send it to your bones. Now magnesium is also a very important mineral here because it's required for proper calcium metabolism. It's great to look at a supplement like magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate. And also remember that cacao is the highest natural source of magnesium that you're gonna find. In the herbal department, one of my favorites here is eucomia. It's a tree bark that's been used for thousands of years in the Taoist herbal system for building skeletal health and also for building the integrity of tendons and muscles and ligaments. So overall, it's a great herb to support the strength of your body on all levels as you're going through life. Then also horsetail and nettle tea is a great way to go to give your body some of the micronutrients for building healthy bones. From a dietary perspective, you also wanna think about getting enough protein. Half of the bone structure is made up of protein. So if you're on a low protein diet, it's not gonna be so helpful. You also wanna think about manganese rich foods like buckwheat, oats, beans, legumes, macadamias, and hazelnuts, because manganese plays a key role in the formation of bone mass and hormone balance. The other thing to think about is exercise and weight bearing activities. You have to use it or lose it when it comes to your bones. And these exercises that put weight and pressure on your bones show your body the importance of having bone health. It takes a lot of metabolic energy to build strong bones. And so if your body is thinking, oh, this guy, he just sits on the couch all day long, doesn't do much. He doesn't really need strong bones. So we're gonna direct those resources elsewhere. But if you're out there using the strength of your whole system on a regular basis, your body is gonna dedicate the metabolic resources to build those strong bones. It's just like building muscles. If you're not using your muscles, your body's not gonna work on building them bigger. But if your body sees you're using them on a regular basis, it's gonna build you muscular strength. Hormone health is also tremendously important for bone density. Low estrogen in women and low testosterone in men can both be major contributing factors to bone loss. Chronically elevated cortisol as a result of prolonged exposure to high stress can also lead to an increased bone resorption and decreased bone formation, which is basically the perfect storm for bone loss. Now I talk about this a lot, but it's worth saying again that getting your hormones in the right place is going to have major benefits for almost every area of your health. I'll link to a couple of other videos on this below if you'd like to take a deeper dive. Now after everything I've told you today, let me know in the comments what is the first step that you're going to take to start building stronger bones. And before you go, here's a link to a video that I think you'd enjoy watching next. And here's one the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy watching next. And there's a link to our website. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.